When Real Housewives of Atlanta star Candy Burris isn't working on the steakhouse she opened with her husband Todd Tucker or being filmed in the reality show, she spends much of her time unwinding at her beautiful mansion. She and her family have lived at this Atlanta estate since 2012, which is located beside the Destiny Faith Church and is full of both vintage and new touches inside. The couple's personal touches are on display right when you walk in the door, and today we're gonna take a look at where Candy calls home. We even found the listing. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Candy Burris Tucker, who is known professionally as Candy, is not only a former Grammy Award winning R&B singer, she's also a star on the hit reality series The Real Housewives of Atlanta, and is a successful businesswoman too. Candy first rose to prominence in the early 90s as a member of the girl group Escape, while she won a Grammy Award in 2000 for her writing contributions on the hit TLC song No Scrubs. Aside from her work in the music industry, Candy is well known for starring on the Bravo reality show The Real Housewives since the second season aired in 2009. Not to mention the beloved cast member has appeared in five Real Housewives spin-off series as of 2020, starting with The Candy Factory in 2012. It's safe to say that she can credit a big chunk of her success to the hit show. When she's not being a Real Housewife, Candy has a few business ventures including a steak and seafood restaurant in Atlanta named Blaze, which she opened with her husband Todd Tucker. At the time of this recording, her net worth is at an estimated $30 million, so it should come as no surprise that her estate in Atlanta, Georgia is luxurious as they come. On the Real Housewives series, fans have only seen glimpses of Candy's beautiful mansion where she lives with Todd and her children, but today we're going to take a more in-depth look. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed a bunch of you guys watching our videos aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and help us get to 1 million subs. We post a new video daily. Today we're gonna take a look at Real Housewives of Atlanta star Candy Burris and where she calls home, aka her mega mansion in Atlanta she bought back in 2012. If you like this video, be sure to check out our recent house tours on Nene Leakes and Portia Williams, which we'll link to at the end. And of course, keep your eye out for some more of their Real Housewives co-stars. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now, let's get into this video. Back in 2012, Candy and her husband Todd purchased a beautiful mansion estate in Atlanta, which is where we see their reality star living on the Real Housewives series, and it's said to be worth $1.7 million. Located in southwest Atlanta, Candy's home is close enough to the city, but also private enough to feature a lot spanning over 1.5 acres of land. According to aerial views, we can also see the mansion is located right beside the Destiny Faith Church. Walking in, there's a glamorous foyer front and center with double height ceilings, a curved staircase, chandelier, and marble floors. Next to this space, you'll find a great room, which is massive enough for all the housewives to hang out and spill the tea, and apparently her mansion has 7 beds and 9.5 baths throughout. Candy and her husband's personal touches are on display the second you walk in, considering the dramatic entryway also holds the highlight of the home, a picture wall. The wall features black and white framed photos of Candy with celebrity friends like TLC's Chili, T.I. and more. Then the soaring ceilings continue into the double height living room, where Candy chose a neutral color palette with pops of pink and other interesting accents, like an oversized coffee table that was originally a dining table she painted fuchsia, Candy said. I love this room because we have some unique things that you won't see anywhere else. So that lets you know you can have some high-end stuff with some cheap stuff. I like the way she thinks. This room also boasts a giant oversized great velvet sectional sofa with matching ottomans, and for some extra glam, the fireplace here was decked out in gold. On one side of the spacious foyer, you'll find Candy's music room that has one of her favorite items, her piano. And it's not just any piano. The piano was wrapped in red crocodile print, while the walls and ceilings here are also covered in crocodile. The gorgeous red chairs here were actually a DIY project that her and her husband bought off of Craigslist and redid them. Again, Candy claimed you don't have to spend a fortune on everything for gorgeous interior design. To the other side of the entry, there's Candy's lavish formal dining room, which she also spent a ton of time designing and finding the perfect table. When Candy isn't hanging out or entertaining in the great room, she and her 
her family spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Here there are more pops of red like the kitchen chairs, as well as a breakfast nook set into a large window wall. You'll also find a marble center island and top of the line appliances like the typical million dollar kitchen. Candy's a busy mom and one of her lucky children, Riley, has what looks like a dream bedroom with a ton of space to play and hang out, even boasting at least one arcade game. Her attached bath has a fun frog statue, a separate tub, and add-ons like a red rug. I mean, when I was a kid, I definitely didn't have my own attached bathroom. From what we've seen, Candy's master suite has a lot of gold accents, wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, and a flat screen TV. Candy more recently showed off her master bedroom post-renovations, and the couple altered the space to look even more impressive. The large bed looks straight out of a hotel, and to one side, there's a sitting area with fireplace and opulent chandeliers overhead. Her master bath is also shown in the clip, where there's a sparkling black diamond accent wall next to the tub, glass shower, and much more. Not to mention, Candy obviously has a walk-in closet fit for a queen. Elsewhere in the mansion, Candy has a state-of-the-art home theater. She's shown fans on her social media stories as well. There's a full bar and snack bar here, as well as plush sofas and a large projector. According to listing materials, Candy's mansion also has luxury features like an indoor heated pool with bar, large separate guest house, an elevator, and multiple garages. Sounds to me like an estate fit for a real housewife to say the least. Now that we've taken an in-depth look at Real Housewives of Atlanta star Candy Burris and where she calls home, what did you think of her mansion? I'm sure fans have seen some of her home on the series, but did you see any rooms you didn't know about in this tour? Did you have a favorite spot in her mansion? From what I could see, I love the main living room or great room with double height ceilings and pink accents. My girlfriends and I would no doubt love to hang out there. The picture wall in Candy's entryway is also beautiful and the perfect personal touch. I'm a big fan of hanging memories with family and friends on the wall for everyone to see. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you liked or didn't like about Candy's Mansion. I've also been reading all your comments on our house tours lately and I'm going to be shouting you guys out. I love sharing what you guys have to say about these gorgeous celebrity homes. These are from our recent Lil Uzi Vert house tour. Erica Brown said, This house is amazing like you said, it just gives me life, especially all the lighting. It's just natural and beautiful everywhere you look. I agree Erica, I'm not always a fan of modern homes because they seem too cold, but his looks perfect and full of light. And Katie G wrote, The best space is the kitchen, the home is contemporary, but it has no character. Just my opinion. See, I can also see that too, Katie. It's definitely a bit of your typical LA contemporary. The kitchen is awesome though. If you guys want me to shout you out next time, don't forget to leave me a comment about Candy's home and keep your eye out at the end of the next house tour. If you haven't, definitely go subscribe to my personal channel. We will link you my latest video. On August 20th, 1989, Jose and Kitty Menendez were found dead in the den of their own home. There's a group of TikTokers who are trying to raise awareness to release these brothers from jail who killed their parents named the Menendez brother. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and I'll see you all next time. Bye.